Hello everybody, it's Ellie Diecast. We're back. And we're still looking through this box that my good buddy Mood sent me from Egypt. And this box was full of um, uh, brands that uh, are kind of hard to find here in the, the States. So there were some Sikus, uh, Wellies, what else was in there? Um, uh, not Maestos, uh, um, Majorettes also in there. And uh, today we're going to look at these Borregos. And I'll, uh, let me get my notes here. Borrego, Barago, I'm not sure what it is. But um, that's what this is. It's a Barago car. So the, the maker, at least is branded under Barago. B-U-R-A-G-O. Barago. <laughs> And they tend to make, best I can tell, realistic cars that, um, you know, kind of European exotic models, I think. Uh, maybe they have some other brands. I researched them a little bit. Couldn't quite find a whole ton on them. Very nice cars. And uh, I think they pretty much go for about the same price as like M2s would go here in the States. So a little bit about the company. Barago started as Martois, and if I remember right, that was back in the 70s, I want to say 74, and they were only Martois for a short time, maybe two, three years, and they changed their name to Barago. It's an Italian company. Um, I don't know if they still make the cars in Italy, like everything else. It, I know that they... Um, uh, you know, send the stuff away and make it in China, but I don't know if they have a factory in Italy or not, or if they're designed in Italy. And um, the the company that owns it now is the Mei Chung Group, and we don't really know the Mei Chung Group by their by their name, but you might know them as Maisto here in the states, because Mei Chung Group owns a couple companies, and Maisto is probably the one we know best in the states. So you could kind of think of it as Maisto owns. Barago these days and they used to make larger scale cars so like 1 18th scale cars and I think if I remember the history right they kind of owned that 1 18th scale market for about 20 years back in the 70s and 80s and then a lot of other uh, car makers kind of moved in and that's when they started having some financial trouble so they actually closed down in 2007 ish <laughs> And they were closed for a year or two until the Mei Chung Group bought them. And now they are making cars again. I have a feeling these are the, the new releases. So we'll check the uh, packaging here in a minute. But uh, you might know Barago and Maisto from the news of uh, they bought exclusive lights, rights to the Ferrari brand. And so that's why Hot Wheels aren't going to be making Ferraris starting next year. So... Um, yeah, so a little bit of history. So let's take a look at these. Um, this one here is a Mercedes-Benz CLR McLaren. Here's what the bottom looks like. They do have... I was going to say they do have rubber tires. Those aren't rubber tires. No. Okay. Not rubber tires. They look like it for a second. Real nice rims on them. Very realistic castings. Oh, by the way, the size on these is about the same as a Hot Wheels or Matchbox. There you go. So just to give you a sense of the size. They're, they're 164 scale. Uh, let's take a look at these others. I took that um, McLaren out to take a look at it. But let's get some others here to look at. Here is the Audi R8. There is the packaging. So these come on these kind of small half size cards for what we're used to. For international cards, that's pretty normal. I don't really know why, but for the international cards, that's normal. So think of kind of the half cards for Hot Wheels. The, uh, you might see those at Toys R Us, uh, but that's about the size of the cards. The back of the card, uh, if you really want to see it, here we'll zoom in whole bunch of different languages obviously aimed at the european market <laughs> with all those different languages not a lot of room left for any other information there's kind of that interesting uh egyptian seal 
that we've seen on a lot of these. So I'm assuming that's the importer of these cars into Egypt. And I can't read that, so moods can tell me what that means. But very interesting cars. Get, uh, get the whole thing in there. So you can see it says Italian design down here. Uh, it is metal, uh, die cast metal with plastic, plastic parts. This is the Audi R8. And uh, I'm not going to take the rest of these out, at least now, because I want to keep the packaging for future videos. So if we do get any others of these that have shown up in lots, um, I can break out the packaging. Here is the uh, 2000A. Let me get this on there. There we go. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Another nice looking car kind of get a shot of those rims there the rims are really nice on these interiors lots of detail there uh, get away from the glare there lots of detail so that is the Mitsubishi Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution next up we've got the Dodge Viper. Does this one have the same? Do they all have the same rims? Oh, maybe they all have the same rim. Uh, looks like the rims may be. They're not all the same, but it's kind of like Hot Wheels, where they must have a few different rims. Uh, Dodge Viper in red. Like I said, my buddy Moods bought these for me. He had shown me some pictures of them and asked me if I knew of them or wanted some and I said yep so he got those for me and we traded some boxes back and forth here's the last one at least from this group and that is the Porsche 911 get it in there this one may be my favorite of the group look at the detailing on the back of that Let me get a better picture there there you go on the front all the badging, everything's there. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. The Porsche and the uh, Mercedes. Oh, come on, my little, I'm only set up for Hot Wheels here. I'll just hold it. The Porsche and the Mercedes have the same rims and the Audi and Viper have the same rims. So that is the Baragos. Um, yeah, interesting cars, and uh, certainly thanks to Moods for finding those for me. I don't know a whole lot more about them, so if anybody wants to post below what they know about the Barago cars, or if they're back up and running, or if these are pretty common in Europe, let me know. A few other things that showed up in this box I want to show you. Two other things, and that is these cars. And I think Moods kind of threw these in as, a, as an afterthought, I think. This uh, taxi, it's a Matchbox taxi, was on a, an old door slammer card. And I'm assuming he didn't find it on that card. I'm assuming maybe he put it together like that to, uh, to ship it. We do that. We, we'll keep the cars and the cards for shipping because it keeps them in nicer condition. Or, or maybe, you never know, with uh, maybe it arrived in Egypt on the wrong card. And then uh, this little old 442. And there, when I saw him, I thought, oh, well, that's... I like the cars, but I kind of thought he might have just thrown them in as extras. Both of these cars are kind of interesting. Let's start with the F Olds 442. I can't find any information on this, and I don't think it's a particularly old car, but I'm wondering if it was either a 10-pack exclusive. Uh, it was. I don't think it was a 5-pack, but maybe somebody can tell me where this one came from. I seem to remember that design uh, maybe from 2011 or so. But I, I just quickly looked, and maybe I just skipped over it and couldn't, didn't see it. But I don't think it's particularly rare. I just couldn't really find any info on it. The, um, the taxi is more interesting. And when I saw this taxi, I knew what it was. Pure luck. This is a German edition matchbox, I believe. It, it's got the German writing on it. But besides that, I think this was part of... Um, matchbox released a series in Germany only. And I don't know enough about the series, but it was somewhere around 2000, 1999, 2000. It was a while back. And they were in um, small boxes. 
um, with like the uh, window in the front of the box. This is a, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a German release tax. Uh, it's a Mercedes E-Class, but Mercedes Taxi. So I think when I first saw this, so Moods, if you threw this in as kind of a, as a, uh, kind of a, a last minute one, <laughs> this one caught my attention right off the bat. I knew what that was. Uh, I don't know what this Olds is, so post below and tell me what the, uh, the story is on this Olds. Uh, anyways, those two cars, Matchbox, Hot Wheels. Um, didn't really have a, another good place to put them in a video, so I thought we'd talk about them here. Anyways, back to the uh, Baragos. Again, that all came from a box. We're still looking through it. We're going to look at some wellies next. But that'll do it for this episode, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.